Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're reviewing the Dunlop Force 105. The Dunlop Force 105 features the latest in racket technology that Dunlop has to offer. It blends some old technology that we've seen in the rackets for several years now with newer technologies. First up for some of the more familiar technologies is AeroSkin CX, which is a specially designed surface texture that allows improved airflow and reduced drag. Also coming back from the IDAP line is AeroBoost Grommets, which acts like a trampoline to give you more power with every shot. New for these rackets is the addition of SPX Shock Reduction. This technology features a glass rod core at the top of the handle to provide enhanced vibration dampening. Lastly for these rackets is the addition of Hyper Flare Butt Caps, which widens the flare to give players a better grip. I just finished up my playtest as well, the Dunlop Force 105. Just like the other guys, uh, I had a little bit of hard time adjusting to the power of this racket. Uh, this isn't particularly a good racket for me just because I have a long, fast swing. Uh, this would be a great racket for someone with a short, compact swing because the racket does provide that power for them. Um, so initially when I was hitting, I had to adjust my length of swing to get that to keep the ball in the court. Other than that, I really thought this was a great racket. Anyone looking for you know, a racket that's going to give them the power that they need. This is a very good racket. It's very stable. It's got a nice open string pattern to give you spin as well. Other than that, it's, it's a great racket. Next up with the Dunlop Force 105, we've got Joe Lee. What did you think of this racket? I did not like this racket too much out of the new Dunlops, but I did think that I was able to hit the ball a little bit harder with the bigger head size. Um, I couldn't control it as well as some of the other smaller head sizes, but I did think that with power it was a little bit better. Um, I would not choose this over my personal racket just because of the head size and the lighter weight, but I did still think it would have been good for someone hitting the ball flatter. Alright, so we just finished up our playtest of the Dunlop Force 105. I know these remind me of the IDAPs, obviously, since they're very similar. Uh, what did you think of these rackets? For an oversized racket, I really enjoyed the uh, easy power that I got off of the serve and off the ground strokes. However, when I would take a full swing at the ball, I, I, I would find the, the power to be too much. So I, I couldn't control the ball when I was actually hitting out on, on my shots. It made it very easy to serve and volley. It was easy to maneuver the racket around the net, uh, very easy to take a short backswing and, and get the, the full power from the shot without having to, to sacrifice the, uh, the swing. I would recommend this racket to the player that is looking for power on, on all, all shots and a player that doesn't have a full long swing, someone that has a short compact swing that just lacks a little bit of power. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out some of our other videos. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on all the latest news here at Tennis Express.